say it's the root of let me just pull this down a little bit don't they say it's the root of all evil are there people out there that really really can never get enough of it people that have already got absolutely millions that still want more um, this is a quick vid we'll don't know whether we'll put this out today Thursday or tomorrow Friday it'll go out within the next couple of days although it's apt either of them because we're uh, just starting the Masters in America at the moment uh, the golf there and it's concerning golf um, it's the live golf tour um, this is just a little rant of mine if you start to watch the channel especially if you see the intro <coughs> you'll you'll pick up pretty quickly ranting is something that I'm all about uh, ranting and knocking people and knocking things this is something I want to knock this live golf tour you've got you've got golfers playing golf over there in America that are earning hundreds of thousands of pounds for competing many of them get hundreds of thousands of pounds or millions of pounds just for appearing but at the top end of golf in America and I say the top end I mean the top probably 120 but certainly the top 40 or 50 they're earning absolute telephone numbers good luck to them they've got fantastic skills they're great at what they do as I said in an early video I played golf um, you wouldn't call me a golfer you wouldn't even call me a crap golfer because I'm much 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 worse than a crap golfer I can't play to save my life you know and I take my hat off to them not that I'm wearing one at the moment but I take my hat off to those who can it's a really difficult game and played well it's brilliant to, to watch and brilliant to see um, but as I say these guys over there are in fortunes and fortunes and fortunes and still they want more you know this lot of golf tours just come on board and it's it's tearing the golf and world apart it's crazy you've got players over there at the end of the careers that are going on to it that I get they're never going to earn the money they've earned in the past and I get they're not at the top of the tree I half understand those going um, one of my heroes the great Phil Mickelson was one of the first to go over he's got hundreds of millions of pounds if you believe all that you read you, you, you realise that one of the reasons he's gone over there is because he's got lots and lots of debt for all he's got hundreds of millions of pounds and what he's looking at he's looking at the fact that with a massive signing on fee he can clear all his debt have a lot of money left over in the bank and live as comfortably as comfortably as he should with the, the, the money that he makes on a weekly basis but Phil is a brilliant player great character brilliant player you know what a major was it year before last last year year before last I think he was the oldest major winner if he wasn't he wasn't far off it was brilliant to see you know and then a year on from that he goes and joins this tour as its, as its leader if you like you know the, the flag bearer what a shame what a shame others have gone over there and I, I, I just don't get it I just don't get it the only thing that surprised me about the whole thing is that where they've got Greg Norman running it and, and also promoting it They've missed a trick and not got Mr Beckham over there. I would have thought they'd have Dave Beckham pro, you know, promoting the thing. I know he's not um, a golfer, but he's there for the opening of an envelope, Beckham. And, and as an ex-United player, I hate to say that, but he's there for everything. He was there for the World Cup for them all. You know, if there's a few million pounds going, Beckham's your man. I would have thought he would have been there. I know for a fact that he had been a golfer, he would have definitely been on that tour. You know, he won a stuck to the PGA, he would have been on that tour. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't think I am again that's just an opinion and nothing else but it saddens me it just saddens me that you know they've got a great product there in america they also come back into to um, europe from time to time they play in asia they play on all continents um they've got a great golfing product you know why they need to leave it to join this live honestly it's, it's crazy you know the masters is going to be on for the rest of the week and i'm going to watch it avidly it's one of my highlights of the year along with probably the Ryder cup and in racing the Cheltenham Festival and uh, Ascot they're four of my really big sporting highlights you know I love all four almost equally uh, but I, ju I just I just wish there'd have been no live golf I just wish we'd have had all the great players there this year we know divisions no hidden agendas or even open agendas you know and, and just play golf you know there's some great golfers did they really need more money you know did did they need more? You know, they say one of the reasons they went is because they, they can earn more money and play a shorter tour and they play another three days. You know, I, I get less touring. You know, when you work all over the world and you're living out of a suitcase, I get that. But could the the big boys on the PGA Tour not have gone to the people who run it and say, look, we want a shorter tour. We want to do less appearances. 
I'm sure they could have done. You know, the three day bit, I don't get. You know, what I do like about it, and I will say this, it's not ideal for TV coverage. Well, it is because you, you, you've got non stop golf. But you miss hell of a lot of it. What I do like about it is they, they all tee off at the same time. Somebody will tee off on hole one and hole two and hole three. I think in golf they call it over a shotgun, I think, where, you know, you imagine a shotgun going off and everyone starts playing at the same time. That is a good thing. And the reason that's a good thing is, you know, you, you can get unfair advantages, especially in America where the climate can be horrendous from time to time, what with storms and what have you. You, you can get golfers that start on a Thursday morning um, Thursday afternoon can be a washout. The Thursday morning people can finish. They can come in and have a nice break till round two. The people that start round one in the afternoon on the Thursday get washed out. They've got to come back the next day to finish off and then start again. You know, uh, that that can be bad. So the great thing about uh, Live Golf, the one thing I like is that they all start together. There's no unfair advantages there. There's no advantage at all. That is good. I like that. I think they could have brought that probably into PGA golf. I'm sure they won't because they're traditionalists and they do what they've always done. But that creates a much, much fairer playing field, a much more even playing field. So that is good. But other than that, I think they've got nothing going for them. They've virtually got no TV coverage. You know, they've, they've got no real backers TV wise. I think you can watch everything you want on YouTube, but oh, this is on YouTube now. Who really wants to watch golf on a laptop on YouTube when you can watch? Yeah, on Sky Sports, BT Sports, or whatever it may be, you know, it's to me, it's just a shame. It really is a shame, but it's the world we're living. I suppose people always want more. And as I said at the the start of this rant, you know, it is all about money. Money is all corrupting. It's a shame. Okay, rant over.